I know we work in the comedy field. Yeah. But sometimes I think I shouldn't let my comedy, my professional work cross over into my private world. Personal life. Because sometimes you make a joke mm. and it's not appropriate. That happens to me all the time. You, you, you tell us one, then I'll tell you one. Well, I did, I did two this week and I really, there was some regret. But oh. anyway, okay, at Bunnings. Okay. Bunnings Warehouse. <laughs> at Bunnings, check out. Mask on. Girl says to me, I know you from somewhere. Yeah. And I don't, you know, who, who's that character on The Simpsons where he goes, you probably know me from? Uh, Troy McClure. Yeah. And I don't want to be like that guy. I don't want to say, you probably recognise me. And don't tell me you said, yeah, yeah, I, I, I look in your window every night or something like that, something creepy. No. I did do something creepy. Yeah, what'd you do? And it backfired. <laughs> she went on for a while. She kept on saying, I do know you from somewhere. And I went, okay, I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Funny. And she goes, no, you couldn't be. He got deported. I'm like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> I brought up trauma for her. She's could have been worse. He could have been dead. Well, it could, yeah, but but in reflection, mm. it's not going to end well. Whenever, because yeah. it, parents could be separated, could be dead, could yeah, be, dead, could be have a bad. Right, you're not. Why go there in the first place? Think about what you say. Yeah, and I so mean, was she shocked? Did you then say, "No, I'm a comedian"? Or no, uh, no, no, because no. she'd finished the the, the, oh, okay. the, the checking out. No, I'm, <laughs> and anyway, I left it at that. She said, "Oh, no big deal." I said, "I think I might have said sorry. I didn't mean to." Trigger you yeah. in any way. Yeah. And she said, no, that's no, fine. All good. All good. And she didn't work out. What, what, yeah. Who she, you were. Who, 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 no, and, not, and, I, and it would even be worse to go back and say, I'm oh, by, a oh, by the way, I'm, I'm, you know. And then she'd say, well, you're not very funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would have been a good outcome because yeah. then I would have been put in my place. And, uh, yeah. uh, and then I had another. Do you want to do one? Because I've, uh, I've got another one I reckon is even. Okay. Well, I, didn't, I don't think it backfired. The young guy across the road is like 20. Joe was getting into his parents' Volvo, and I said, Hey, the driving dad's Volvo, hey? Bit of a chick magnet. And Kieran goes, That's that's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, it is. And then he drove past later on with three girls in the car. Like, so yeah. it worked. Yeah. Chick yeah. magnet. But. So that's not, that's not offending anyone, really. It's not really. No. And um, what terms did she? I mean, I don't really see why it would because it's a Volvo. Well, that's, the joke is it's a Volvo. It's not a, an attractive yeah, car that's for right, a young that's man. Right. Yeah, so I'm being yeah, so, I'm yeah. saying it's a chick magnet. But my wife's like, you know, don't say so that. Don't, don't bring up yeah, you and yeah, having chi- sick you're young describing girls. women as chicks. Yeah, know. chicks. You know, it's, <laughs> you've got a daughter yourself. You yeah, know, you know oh, the idea you of feel? doing Someone things ca- in cars with yeah, girls. And someone called her a chick. Because yeah. you're past okay. the age, you're where you where okay. you just can't do. That. Okay, uh, and then then I did one more. Oh, great! So I'm at the <laughs> I'm at the chemist. The at, chemist <laughs> getting get, your prescription. <laughs> been to Bunnings, been to the chemist, uh. and then uh, um, and. It was another chemist, not my normal chemist. Yeah. It's down the coast, and and the and I, um, the lady behind the desk goes, "Oh, hello, Glenn. I know you from the other chemist." No. Oh. Yeah, which is back in Anglesey. Oh wow! And I go, I, and then and I, I didn't recognise her with her mask on. Yeah. I said, I didn't recognise her with your mask on. I was going, so you should have recognised me. I'm the one. Who was doing all your mum's prescriptions over oh, the years? Ah, nice. And then I said, "Well, she passed away, so you must have done a very good, <laughs> <laughs> very good job." Oh, no. <laughs> Is that too much? To the chemist, to the pharmacist, to the pharmacist. Yeah, <laughs> but it was there, it was in a beforehand court. It was in. Yeah, the, it yeah, was yeah. There And what, did she laugh at that? Or no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, go on. Oh, and, man. Uh, but, but I laughed. Here's the funny part. I went, oh, that was funny. Yeah, yeah. And she just went, no. Because you're in the world of pharmacy and people. Yeah, that's and, cool. And, and the, not for a second would I be inferring that she gave her the wrong drugs and she passed away. She may well have. Well. <laughs> who kn- who ha- knows? Happens. Blue ones go in that bottle, red ones go in. Oh, yeah. hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. It's difficult. It's difficult. Take so, medication. So she may have been. I may have. So I've traumatized two people within the week with me. 
just trying to be flippant and you know entertain an audience. Engaging. I really, I, I need some therapy. I need yeah. to check myself out. So. I think you need an audience. Is what it's telling me. You need to get well, up on stage. Well, like your good self and your comedy. Get yes. this comedy show. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing the comedy festival at the moment. If you're oh, in we'd love to give you a plug, Dave. But here comes the. Music. Oh no. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Yes, well, welcome to the podcast, but I'm only on for the ne- this week and then I'm finished on Sunday. So, if yeah, come oh. up. There's been some Somehow Related fans, definitely. Coming, oh. coming along. So uh, I w- I, you spend 50 minutes with Dave and Neil doesn't get better than oh, that. What a treat. What a joy. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you, my what masseuse joy. My masseuse contacted me oh. and said, um, who, is your, who, who do you recommend for the comedy festival? Right. And I said, oh, no. Ross Noble, Jamoan, Lawrence Mooney, Gee. Carl Barron and Dave O'Neill. Oh, Were good them. on you. So, so I said, there you... I said, they're your, you know, just surefires. Is that a, a girl or a boy, this masseuse? <laughs> oh, no, this hang is... on, are you going to make an inappropriate joke? No. <laughs> <laughs> How old's your masseuse? She would be in her 30s. All right, I'd, all, I'd also say Denise Scott and Judith Lucy. Oh, yeah, well, okay. You know, get, well, well, then I, again, I, in, fairness, in fairness, I should have had some females. You're she's right. She's perfect yeah. for... Women, middle-aged women, Judith Lucy and Denise Scott. Like, yeah. I went with my mother-in-law. I've got to be honest, I didn't know they had a show. I did do a quick flip through the thing, and I didn't. So I went, no, for, well, and no. I went for all the the names that. But what names I, you know? Yeah, and, and and I think Judith and Denise are fantastic. Oh. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me they've wrong. They've made props. Look, I, I saw their last show and it was very funny with my mother-in-law, but it was wall-to-wall uh, middle-aged and elderly women in the crowd. So, so therefore, and me. So she would she would have been good. What I said oh. was, and this is good. I go go for someone you know, yeah, and then, then go for a random. Good idea. Go yeah, for someone off Broadway. I don't, about, I don't know about that. Oh really? That's not a good idea. I was talking. You know, I was talking to Jamone just before on the phone about this because um, I anyway we, we name he, dropping. Yeah, name dropping. But he wants to. <laughs> he's got like a local venue. He wants to do some comedy at, and I'm giving him some advice on oh, running comedy because you're a big and, time runner. And he goes um. Yeah, you seen anything yet in the festival? He, 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 this is you doing. <laughs> <laughs> I said no, I haven't. No, I've been doing. I actually, and as he said, I only like seeing little bits. I can't stand a whole hour. Yeah, that's true. Because off, I've been to shows. Yeah, there was one year I had to go see a lot of shows because I was yeah. interviewing people on Foxtel. Yeah, and honestly, you'd sit there, and then it, within ten minutes, you're like, oh no, this for a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing and, is, and I recommend what I recommend, and the, and I've been I've been doing some best of shows like showcase shows where you do ten minutes, yeah. And I turn up last night to to go on at one of these, and there's a woman from Canberra called Chris Ryan who's really funny, and I've seen her on the internet, but I've never seen her, and it was great to see her see ten minutes of someone, yeah, fantastic. No. Yeah, it's a Bay Marie. That's what it is. I would go see some of these showcase shows because you get, you know, yeah. See, yeah. But to see an hour of someone, you've got to—I think you've got to like them. Well, it's like a like a you know smorgasbord. Okay, you can come, mm. but you can only have food from one bowl. Right. So you can only have the potato salad. Right. That's all you can have. But you go. But I want a bit of that, and I want. To, and I only wanted a small portion yeah. on my plate. And this is the thing: you, you see someone, you go, look, you're 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 great, and I really love you. But and that's the for me in some ways it's the problem with the festival because it's like okay now I get now I do fifty minutes but are you ready to do fifty minutes that is the big question no 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 so therefore anyway I should are you talking about as a performer are you ready to do fifty minutes of performing yeah 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 well I'd say to the young guys um, start just do a split show so there's the two yeah. E- yeah. there's two excellent comics doing a split show at the Rubber Chicken that's a venue. Mm. Uh, Billy Styles and John Dore. Now they're younger comics, but they're doing half an hour each. Now that's perfect. Well, you get potato salad and that's a bit great. of protein. That's great. Or three, you can get meat and two veg. Yeah. So you're you're getting a oh, listen to us preaching. Oh, anyway, go and see some shows if you're in Melbourne. Yeah, go no, and see some shows. Support the Melbourne Comedy oh, Festival. We are it. one of the best in the world, and it's right on our doorstep. And mm. we're back. Are people wearing masks in the audience? Mm, some are. Some are. are. You wearing? I know you're you're quite no. upset about you're wearing. You're doing your show with a mask on, aren't you? 
I put it under my chin. That's my first joke. I say, I'm not worried about COVID. It's just quite slimming. That's my first joke. <laughs> That's a good Stink joke. Stink preview right there, everyone. Whoa. <laughs> One more of that for 50 minutes. And look, I don't mind if you come along and after 10 minutes you don't like it, leave. That's fine. You can't get your money back, though. <laughs> well, there must be. Should, you know what you should have? Like, yeah. a, like a mini interval where you go, look, announce yeah. it. If this <laughs> yes. isn't for you, yes. go now. <laughs> But if you don't go now, you've got to stay to the end. And have a bucket of twenty dollar notes. And just take twenty out that, that oh, that'll give you a bit of money of 20s, back. That'll yeah. give you a bucket of money back. Yeah. I reckon yeah. you could get a few. I you get a few. Oh, you wouldn't. Uh, you know, I think I think comedy shows and I remember when I saw Lloyd Cole, who's a singer from the eighties, Lloyd Cole and Commotions, and he said, I realise there's a lot of people here that have come with their partners who aren't fans of mine. Mm, yeah. yeah. We've all been to those concerts yeah. where your wife or your partner has yeah. said you I'll come could, along. I'll come along. Mm. <laughs> but, we're, 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 yeah, look, we could talk about the comedy okay. festival for the whole thing. Anyway, it's, anyway, we've got to wind, up, wind that talk up. But yeah. we've got to get our subjects. We had two subjects and work out how they're related. And we'll show you, you know, because we know how to do a podcast. We know this we is do, it. We know what we do, we're doing. So this, you're in safe hands. You don't, you, uh, there's no bowl with $20 with this <laughs> podcast. There's no. In fact, you get it for nothing, so don't complain. Yeah, that's exactly right. So w- w- what are our topics, Sam? Goldilocks and the Three Bears and an Old Woman. Well, it's very specific, isn't it? Goldilocks. Well, let's talk about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. I know all these. You're good with the stories. Oh, because I've read them all with the kids. I mean, I know that one vaguely because it's in the title. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so Goldilocks go- breaks into the house, just wanders in. Does she have gold locks? Yeah, she's got golden curly hair. Curly hair. And she breaks into the house and... Um, it's a porridge. It's a bed. It's a It's porridge. a chair. It sits in the chair, breaks the chair. Breaks the chair. I mean, that's... And falls asleep in Baby Bear's bed. And there's a... Mm. and But it's got that great rhythm that, um, oh, this porridge is too hot. Too, this yeah. porridge is too cold. This porridge is just Well, that term right. is used in what field? They call it a Goldilocks effect. Ah, oh, really? Something like that. Yeah, where right. yeah, That one's not right. That one's, too, that one's too much. That one's too small. That, one, that one's just right. So mm. it's kind of like, you know, it give you comparisons. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, and kids like that story because it's got a bit of anticipation. That's a good thing about it in that she's broken mm. into this house. The three bears have gone for a walk. I think everyone in the back of their mind knows the bears are going to come back. Oh, and bears are scary. It in the title. Bears are scary. Bears are scary. So when those bears come back and find a, a small child sleeping in one of their beds, it's not going to be pretty. I know in that show Alone. Have you ever watched that show Alone? No, oh, where they... They put him in the, into the wilderness. I've heard it's great. It's fantastic. Put him into the wilderness, and it's in Canada, and there's there's wild animals and there's bears. And I remember one guy because they put them separate. They're not looking like survival where they're in a group. Mm. They're on their own, and they have to do everything. I've heard. They've, yeah. got cam- they've got their camera, and then that's it. They get their own food, their own shelter, the whole thing. This guy, he lands. So they don't have the camera crew with them. No. Oh, they oh, do oh, all their own I filming. Always, I always love that when yeah. Bear Grylls is like, oh, I'm here by myself in the middle. Yeah. It's like, mate, well, yeah. the sound guy and the camera bloke standing there with you. They yeah. can help me, can't they? <laughs> anyway. I mean, you don't have to drink your urine, really. I'm yeah, sure yeah. The, they got the a crew, water bottle. Yeah, you got a water bottle on his backpack. You know? He's staying in a resort, that guy. Yeah, let's get him to bring something to the chocolate. From, from the, the minibar. Yeah, from the minibar. <laughs> um, anyway, this guy, they drop him off in the boat. He climbs onto a rock and he hears, <laughs> he goes, I'm going. I'm out. He he lasted like an hour, whereas people last like, and that show last about six weeks. Well, he lasted an hour because there was a bear. Yeah, the bear. He heard one bear out of there. Bears are bears are dangerous. And all they do to 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 to, to soften the the threat of them, they go, hey bear, hey bear. That's all they do. That's all they do because the bear gets um, spooked by the voice. How oh, does it? So the, as a bear is running towards you, about to rip your throat out mm. with its claws, hey, bear. Really? And, and you've got to oh, stand your ground. I loved that book when I was a kid, Grizzly. There was a book, and it became a movie, I think, called Grizzly. And it was a big sensation in the 70s, I reckon, late 70s. It was great about just this bear that was attacking people. Oh, so it was a novel. Yeah, a bit of light reading at night. Goldilocks, is it? where would it rate in the, in the top stories that you've given you an experienced yeah, storyteller? Yeah, 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 top five. There's, um, yeah. oh, okay. I would have thought top five. What are you? Little Red Riding Hood. Yes. Three Little Pigs. Three Little Pigs is awesome. Because there's a bit of a lesson in that. Hansel and Gretel's good too. And they follow the crumbs into the, into the oh, forest. Forgotten they often happen in forests. It's always creepy. It's a dark forest. It's always very yeah. German, actually. And they, must come, they must. I think a lot of these came from that German kind of Italian 
area of these stories. So, I got yeah. lost in the forest on the weekend. Oh, really? two, two days ago, I went. I went for a walk around a path. It was one point five, and even uh, I was by myself. Mm. Even though it was a circular path, mm. I still got lost. Well, I still going. I'm still going because there was one part where do I go straight ahead? Do I go left? I chose left, and I'm going. I'm going off into the wilderness now. I could be taken by someone. Whoa. And then I finally got back and went. That was a bit weird. I felt a little bit lost out there. Huh. Got in my car and thought I'll go a different way home. Oh, what? Just to explore the area. Yeah. So next time I bring Selena down, I go, I'll take you for a drive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I ended up in the, in the middle of nowhere, um, nearly in tears. Lost again. Lost again. And then I'm such a city person, aren't I? Yeah. And then I had to put the GPS on. And yeah. it kept on telling me to do a U-turn. Oh, I hate that. And then I'm going, surely no. Surely there'll be another way. And I, I kept on ignoring the GPS. Mm. And then it, and then I finally, okay, okay. So and I basically had got had to go backtrack exactly the way I came. Wow, right out again. So it took me like an hour. Not all, just went back. anyway. Um, Do you should get like a beacon. You know, they they get those rescue beacon. You, I saw well, an EPIRB. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, an EPIRB. An EPIRB. An EPIRB. Correct. An e EPIRB. An EPIRB. That's some Stands bloke something. gets on the computer. Yeah. Anyway, no. So we, I was at buying a raincoat in a hiking speaking, shop. Speaking of Perth. <laughs> yeah. Had hey. Get, had a new pick raincoat. A, a, did, were we wearing, wearing that coat when you talked to that boy in the Volvo? No wonder. You <laughs> got upset. And um, the girl in front of me was hiring a rescue beacon. You can hire them at hiking shops. Hire them. You can hire a rescue beacon. Hang on, I think they're only. I thought they're only one go. There's not a number of different goes. Oh no, this this is one that. Oh, you, I'm thinking of a flare. Oh no, it's, it's not only a flare. One, yeah, flare. There's, there's only one. Yeah. This is an electronic device you push that alerts the authorities that you are lost. Yes, and it tracks where you are. Have they got a celebrity version of that? <laughs> I hope so. Well, meaning you know, it's Uncle Arthur who needs to be picked up. Oh yeah, no. Anyway, the guy was giving the um, giving the uh, instructions, and he's like, <clears throat> he's obviously said it a million times. He said, "All right, keep this on you. Don't put it in your pack. Put it in your pocket because you could lose your pack. Okay, mm -hmm. keep it on you. Right. Now, only activate it if you are seriously lost. Do not activate it if your bus doesn't turn up, if your ride doesn't turn up, if your boat doesn't turn up. Yeah. Do not activate it if you need a drink or you've run out of food. Yeah. So obviously, all these things have happened in the past. Well, you're calling the cavalry. Yeah. yeah. You're calling it. This is the big deal. This is yeah. we've got a doozy going off here because you are giving someone not a weapon but something very powerful mm. that that is like it's like the break glass thing. Don't yes. break the glass. Oh no! Be very careful. I was down the uh, beach <clears> the other day and the police, the water police, were there. Oh, I've never seen them down the beach. Yeah, they were training near my, on my beach. Oh, and um, of course. When they're there, you wander up, have a bit of a chat. Like water rats. Um, water rats? And um, they were telling me they'd been up around the floods area. Flood area oh, wow. Saying that it was people are obviously really suffering. And he was saying that um, it's the smell that gets you. It's like a tip because everything yeah. is putrid. Yeah. Uh, he said it's just awful. Um, but anyway, bring you back to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> having said that about some floods, um, uh, he goes, can we get, get a photo? And I went, oh, didn't realise that you... Okay, yeah, sure. And then a few more... And then there's about 10 of them all gathering around. Oh, yeah. this is all the police. So he goes, Any, um, and you want to put a top on? So he gives me a Victorian <laughs> police top. Like a mascot. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it, for the water. Yeah. 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 Put it on, and we'll, we'll get a photograph, a group shot for the for their Facebook. Uh. And then he goes, you can keep it. So oh. I went, I can now impersonate a police officer on the in the water. It says Victoria Police with all the you know the yeah, black yeah. and white marks down the arms, and um, and water does it say water anywhere or no? Maybe. So if I turn up on the, if I t put it on and turned up on the beach on the surfboard on the on the surfboard, I'd look like uh, now. There's a TV show. Yeah, cop on a board, board cop, board, board cops. cops, surf cops, surf cops, hang five cops, hang Hawaii five o. Okay, oh, that'd be great. Um, You'll be using that in the bedroom, no doubt. <laughs> to clean dusty stuff. <laughs> what I'll do is I will I will wear it. Down use the, it at the no, top. I'll, but I won't wear any bottoms. Yeah. And I can't be arrested. I'm with the police. Yeah. <laughs> Just wear the top and no bottom. Um, uh, Goldilocks. That's what you call someone, isn't it? You call a kid with blonde hair Goldilocks. Yeah, Goldilocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Goldilocks are three bear. Great story. I've got to say, hats off to whoever wrote it. It's a good story. 
I love it. Yeah. You don't like it? Well, I have heard that there are different endings. I've heard that yes, that the bears mm-hmm. went, cop this sweetheart, and ate her. Well, yeah. Well, that in, in the original of uh, the Three Pigs is that the wolf falls down the chimney and falls into a pot of boiling water, and they which eat, is handy. Yeah, yeah, they eat the wolf. They, they yeah. have wolf soup. Yeah. So often they had really violent endings that they changed for the, in the you know. Remember? Do you remember Golden Books? Oh so yeah, they, they've golden books, and we used to get golden books with records. So you put them on, and it, and the guy, the man or the woman speaking, the big Walt Disney ones too, and the man speaking says, "Welcome to." Hang on, who's God. speaking? It's just a narrator. It's like an actor, but is it probably coming out of the book. No, you put the little single, the record on the record player, and you hold is the book. A, is it a and CD? You, no, no, it's a record. It was a single, and so you hold the book wow. and you open the page, and it goes, "Hello, welcome, you yeah, hello, welcome to Golden Books." Um, uh, you know, Goldilocks and the Three Bear. When you hear this noise, ding, turn the page. So Goldilocks started off in the wood, ding, and yeah, it was great. And you you know when to turn the page. You've never heard you didn't know those as kids. No, I mean, oh. yeah, as as you as I often say to you, I'm re- reading an audio book at the moment. You go, it's not really no, reading. It's not reading. No. It's list. It's called listening. You're listening to a book. You're yeah. listening to a book. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, but yeah, but the same, isn't it? No, not really. Okay. Anyway, old ladies. Should we talk about old ladies? <laughs> Again, creepy. <laughs> An old lady. Old ladies are funny, though. I mean, my mum's oh. in a nursing home, and your mum was in a nursing home for a long time. Yeah. And they are predominantly women in those places, aren't they? There's a few blokes. Oh, that's know, true. In the nursing the blokes home. Just, you know, they go first. They drop off first. They need, they need the rest, yeah. as we say. <laughs> and um, so mum's in there with all these old women. But they are funny. It's, it's funny. I mean, what age is a person considered an old woman? I mean, these days. Well, my mum, I remember she never thought she was an old woman. Yeah. It, well, she was called she, called an old lady, and she laughed because she said, I'm not an old lady. Because it's like you. We all imagine ourselves at a certain round of, we're, we're in our, an older person sort of feels like they're. Oh, over 70, I reckon. But I'm meaning that you always feel like you're about a certain age. Yeah. You know, I how, do you, feel, how old do you feel? Uh, I don't know. I reckon I feel 40s. 40s. Yeah, yeah, I feel 40s. Oh, wow. But so, I'm, I'm 50s. I'm mid 50s. I'm 64. I'm, I'm on the. I'm on the. I'm on the. Um, when I'm 64. 64. So I'm done. I'm so, finished. But back in the back in the Beatles day, 64 was like really old. Like that's re- you were retired. Having said that, that was old. 64 was the new. 54. 54. But yeah. you're still old. Mm. God, 50, I got my 50th birthday card up on the thing, and I go, that's 14 years ago. That's incredible. It's incredible. And I, I was uh, put my my walker, my walking frame. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't get it through the door here, and um, my nappies. I know. I'm going to say they're not that easy to to. to but your, your, your taxi's waiting out the front for you, but you, 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 you tell him just wait for half an hour. Yeah, you're the podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, old well, ladies. No, that, I, I do. What do I sort of think about when I think about it? Old, I do think of smell. I think of going oh, into an old lady's place yes. that has a certain smell. Yes, it's I, true. The, N- I, Nana's house used to smell of cabbage and cooking. And, yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, it wasn't pleasant. But then a perfume kind of smell. Yeah, as well. a bit of a lavender. Talcum powder. Potpourri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talcum yeah, powder. Yeah, yeah. Which you know you should never use around kids because you know talcum powder once it goes into your lungs it never comes out. Wow, really? Talcum powder. That's why they that's to stop it. Great on your nether regions. You know, I heard they've stopped making talcum powder. But you can still buy it. So what you're buying are the remains that are left, and there's not going to be any more after no, that. And that's for that very reason. As I said on Kitty Flanagan's show, we talked about, you know, she talked about underpants, and I talked about putting tangle powder in your underpants. Mm. And not that I do, and I don't because when you take your underpants off, a big cloud of dust comes <laughs> yeah. up, and it looks like you haven't used your penis for a long time because... <laughs> <laughs> but it's a cloud it's of uh, talcum powder yeah, yes, that's, uh, yes. you know. And it look, your penis looks like it's ready for the frying pan. It looks like it's been rolled in flour, <laughs> and your penis doesn't like it. Sorry, we've, I'm being creepy. So, sorry, I? sorry. You're back in Bunnings. Knitting, the, crocheting. Yeah, they're old lady things. Yep. Cooking, yep. baking. Baking. Um, they also have certain lollies that they like, like those country mints. Oh, yes. And my mum, when I go to see her in the nursing home, she's often sucking on a... She goes, well, I like these. Don't hesitate when you... <laughs> <laughs> Just finish the sentence. <laughs> like a chocolate eclair, but it's a oh, hard shoot. chocolate eclair thing. <laughs> what are you it's like at? I said the other day on radio, I bought a skateboard the other day for my 13-year-old son, and someone said, yeah. phew. Yeah. Thank yeah. God you finished Don't. that sentence, because if you said you bought a skateboard, people were like, what? <laughs> 
tragic buying a skateboard at What have you been doing this morning? Well, I've been sucking on... A mint. A mint, yes. <laughs> um, always pop in and see them on a hot on a hot day. Hot day. Old people, old ladies. Yeah. They just need, make sure they're, they're okay. Make sure they're okay. Right. You know, because sometimes it, on a hot day it can be hard on... on it's hard on anyone. Mm. So, mm. Um, mm. what else? Well, there's often elderly people, you see that on the news, they die in the heat. That's what I'm saying. It's terrible. They, my mum, they used to pop in and give her a, a, a bottle of lemonade. I drink it, sure. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Love lemonade. And you know what old ladies, some old ladies have? Good sense of humour. Grace. Grace. Yes. You know what? Old ladies got a lot of knowledge, too. Oh, I like absolutely. the wisdom of yeah. the old, and the what old I like, person. You know what? I like a... I don't want a long sentence, but because my wisdom comes out too long winded. Yeah, I go on and on and yeah. on. Yeah. Whereas when you really have wisdom, you can mm. do it in a couple of words. Oh, yeah, like like the, lighten the, up, dickhead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the river runs deep. Oh, yeah, what? What right. does that mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's the water like? What's water? You know, <laughs> the sky's always blue. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, what else can we say? Oh, not much. They're, you know what? And you know what? They're, they're a great audience, I've got to say, as a comedian. Older women, fantastic. Because they're up for a bit of innuendo. They don't like vulgar stuff. No, so they don't, my mum didn't, never liked no, the swearing on you, stage. You can't be doing any of your penis and flower material. But if you did that with a bit of innuendo, that'd be fine. So if you said, you do all the talcum powder stuff, yes. and then you go, and my, you know, it looks like it's been rolled in flour, oh, like my, a sausage. You don't say penis. Don't say penis. No, because that's uh, a word. Uh, they wouldn't have, old ladies wouldn't have said penis very often in their lives. Right. Even when they're talking to their sons when they're- Back in that day. Toddlers and stuff, they would have said, you, uh, yeah. what, 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 what would have my mum said? Your wee-wee. Yeah, your yeah, wee-wee. Your pee <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your whizzy. But to say penis, I think, yeah, so- so when you're doing your next show for the elderly, okay, yeah, I'll, just I'll, innuendo. They love innuendo. So you're good. You know, you know, you know the well, boundaries. Well, I, 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 I always go in too hard. I go, I get too crude. I've done um, retirement homes, and they're fantastic audiences because you, you know they really, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talking about like um, nursing homes. I'm talking about retirement villages where they're Oh, uh, retirement village different to a nursing home. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're up and about. They have got their own apartment, their own flat. They're all yeah, like, they're different. all like 70, 75, 80. Because I used to visit my dad in the nursing home. God, you, you really listen to this podcast? <laughs> is it good for you? Is it working for you? Of course it is. Yeah. Uh, and he would, sometimes he'd be in the tea area and he would stand at the door and go, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very special oh, guest. No. You know him as Uncle Arthur and as Russell uh. Coyne. A big round of applause for the real Uncle Arthur. No, actually, he was the real Uncle Arthur. And I get nothing. Yeah, you get nothing. Oh, N- nothing. Oh, I got not, not even, but nothing. I, get, I know, I go to the nursing home and they all just sort of stare at you. Yeah. Like, and, and mum goes, they're jealous I'm getting visitors. That's what she says. They're jealous. It's, um, well, I could visit them too. No, yeah. they don't get many visitors. <laughs> all right. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's, um, let's have some thinking music. Now, uh, um, we could have we, a. Oh, I know what we could do. We could play a bit of. There's a God, famous. Golly um, Locks and the Three Bears? No. No. Letterman had a. Did you ever see the foul mouth chambermaid? No. On Letterman. It was just a it was just a segment on Letterman. It was an old lady that would come out oh. and swear at him with a potty mouth. They'd beep it all out. Oh. But it was really funny. Oh really? If you go, <laughs> what would you know, Dave? You beep, beep, beep. Oh, and you come in, I oh, beep, beep. It was very funny. The audience would go nuts because you would use foul. So we could play oh. a bit of that. What were you gonna what were you gonna say? Oh, we should do like a, a make believe where um we do the new version of Golly Locks and the Three Bears, because it is very politically incorrect in a in a way. Oh, so meaning, me, meaning, me, meaning, it's like a. This is going to be like a talking book for the kids. Do we rewrite it? We, I don't think. I think you, you can be the guy who reads the book. I'll, be, I'll do the audio, the, the narrator, and I'll be the censor who just. Chips are you in? in. The, are you behind the glass? Yeah, I'll be behind the glass. Oh, okay, so what we need, yeah. Sam, is Dave. You need to be on the tannoy voice. You need to. Yeah, have, the tinny you, voice. You like, have to have yeah. a. Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, we'll I don't, go again I don't on think that. uh, that's appropriate. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be doing. Uh, so I'm recording. Yep. Goldie Locks for 2022. Um, 22. 22. Right. And it's going to be PC. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And you can do that. Every time you hear this noise, turn the page. We don't have to do that. Here yeah, no, I'll do I'll throw a couple of those. Oh, good, good. good callback. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. This is a story called Goldie Locks and the Three Bears. Turn the page. Goldilocks was wandering through the forest one day, and she hey, came... Uh, stop you right there. 
I'll stop you right there. Sorry, sorry. Um, she, a young woman can't be wandering through the forest by herself. Can we just have her wandering through the forest with a guardian or a parent? Yeah. Okay. We can't say sure. parent, though, because some sure. kids don't have parents. Sure. So we say guardian or parent, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, go on. Just keep on. Yeah. Dr. is wandering through the forest with a guardian and or a parent <laughs> and came across a lovely little cabin and thought to herself, I might go inside because I feel a little bit hungry. And there on the table... But hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Whoa, whoa. She's just entering the house with no permission? Or why don't you say Goldilocks had received written permission to enter the house a month beforehand? <laughs> Goldilocks had received permission, by coincidence, to enter that very cabin in the woods. Excellent. And there on the table were three bowls of porridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. porridge. Mm. It's got to be gluten-free with soy milk. If you just add that in. Gluten-free soy milk, yeah? Are you going to interrupt the whole way through? I'm just making it more, you know, 2022. Are we editing? You still rolling? Yep, we're still rolling. Yep, okay. Um, so she had, saw three bowls of porridge, all with glu- were gluten-free yes. and had... So, uh, soy milk. Soy milk. Or, in my case, oat milk, which also makes a very nice coffee. Uh, sorry, oat milk's not actually milk. So, uh, I know dairy farmers have a problem with this, so it's just a waste product. So, it's just oat. Oat water. They were all definitely not oat milk. Then she tried one. It was a bit too hot. Then she tried another. It was a bit too cold. Then she th- tried the third one, and it was just right. So then she thought, I'm feeling a bit tired, I might go and sit down. So she went to the first chair, and that was a bit hard. Then she went to the second chair, and that was a bit soft. Then she went to the third chair, and it was just right. So she settled in, and before you know it, she'd broken the chair. Oh, hang on, hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so, sorry, sorry, so the chair's broken now, is that correct? She sat on the chair and yeah, broke it. Yeah, well, this is now an un- unsafe workplace, so she's going to have to call work cover... Uh, an ambulance and HR, okay. but keep going. And and we need witches hats and um, high vis tape. Were you rolling on that? What what he just said then? Because just insert that into the script, and I it saves me from doing it again. So just insert him. Yeah, that guy. Yep. Thank you. Is that all right with you? Will you use yeah, your voice? Yeah, 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 use yeah, your yeah. voice as a. a yep. And then the kids all are because right. you, you got a very friendly voice. Sure. Keep going. Keep going. So then she says, "I feel a little bit tired." So she goes upstairs. And she finds three beds. And she tries the first one, that was too soft. And then she tries another one, that was too hard. And then she gets into the third one and goes, this is just right. I think I'll have a little sleep in here. Oh, but, this is, well, this is just perverse. Well, anyway, perverse, get, isn't, hey, hey, perverse isn't a problem. All you know, right. A, you know, all what's right. perverse about a little girl getting into into a bed that's just, just right and pulling the covers up and having a little sleep? All right, keep going. I'll keep going. So... Then she's fast asleep. Then the three bears decide to come home. And they look at the porridge. And someone's been eating my porridge, says Pa. And then the mother bear says, someone's been sitting in my chair and has broken it. And the little girl ran upstairs and she looked into her bed and fell Goldilocks asleep and said, and someone's asleep in my bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting in very dubious territory here. Very what are you suggesting? Be very careful what you say next. And then Goldilocks heard them and ran out the door and went home and nothing happened. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. So she's, she's fled the scene of a crime. We, this, is a, this is a terrible story. Okay, what you need to say is that Goldilocks stayed... Oh, for fuck's <sighs> sake. You know what? You do the story. You do it. I have had it. I'll finish up. So Goldilocks stayed and had, and they brought in a council counselor and the police and the, and and a therapist. They had negotiations with the bears. Hang on, it, hang on, hang on. I'm finishing the story. Yeah. Turn the page. <laughs> and and because he's going on a bit. <laughs> and uh, Goldilocks, they had a consultation and decided that, that the bears weren't going to press charges, but Goldilocks was not allowed to enter that area again. The end. I'm gonna say, yeah, 
need more people like him, like you. Out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. doing correcting, really, correcting. You would have had that. You would have, because hey, by the way, yeah. been listening to the ads on TV, and I'm recognizing a voice. The lad broke. Oh yes, Simon lad broke. <laughs> Someone asked on our Facebook group, how much do I know about NRL? Because I do NRL ads. Lad broke it. Yeah, you, sound, you sound perfect for the ad. I, I can see why they, they got you. I reckon you're the long term. I reckon you've got a good, good, good... I reckon you've got a house extension out of that. I'm the voice of lad brokes. Oh, absolutely. My wife, did, she said, you know, it's gambling. Should you do that? And I said, you want to bet? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Will I take the money? You want to bet? Yeah. You want to bet? You want the last leg of the quaddy? Yeah. I'll yeah, tell you what. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, lad brokes it. That breaks it. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. Anyway, so, um, yeah, good story. Okay, now what is the answer? You've had, that's our thinking music, really. What is the answer? Uh, this is Okay, I'm going to say that out of all... Because I'm going to go back to the top stories. This is not a great answer because it's just hard. I'm going to say that the an old that Goldilocks is more chosen by old ladies than it is other stories. So it's number one oh, for wow. old ladies. Wait. Which I don't think – this is a dumb, dumb link. No, I think I think that there was an old lady originally in the story and they replaced her with Goldilocks. So an old lady, lady wandered into a house. I Maybe, maybe because I know – you know how fairy tales change over the years oh, and they try to make them more palatable like that sensor just did with you. So should we get the answer? Goldilocks and the Three Bears is a 19th century British fairy tale of which three versions exist. The original version of the tale tells of a not-so-polite old woman who enters the forest home of three bachelor bears while they are away. (coughs) Eleanor Muir wrote the first version of the Three Bears story in 1831. The Three Bears started as an oral tale and was written down almost 200 years ago that over the decades it's changed to the one we know today. Oh, well, there you go. So you were... I was right. You were were right. right. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. The thing is, that's what people do. They try to make him like Hollywood. Put a put a, 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 an attractive girl in there. But I think it probably made the story better to have a young, a, like a ten year old. Yeah, to have a ten year old girl. And also, if you're targeting uh, children, it's good to have a child in so your. So you relate to the journey, I reckon. Yeah. And also, there's the little bear and the and the girl are, as, I assume, a similar age kind I of thing. I did wonder how a little girl could break a chair. Yes. See, an old woman, they probably just, you know, the yeah, bears yeah. probably just beat us to death and ate her. So, whereas with a girl, maybe that's why they made her run away. Yeah, and and it really, for me, it's not really an ending to yeah, just get have, up and run away. No, Where's the lesson there? What's, what are we learning from it? What, what are we learning? What are, what are we learning? And you get, and he ran away. Okay, go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you know, I, I just think it's, now you're just thinking about the girl who's been traumatised, yeah. running around in the dark forest by herself. It's probably getting late in the day. And she, if she's got an EPIRB, she may, E-perb. that would be... Time to set it off. Time, so that guy at the counter mm. would have said, you know, don't set it off with the car if you haven't got a drink of water. Blah, blah. If you're a little girl and you're lost in the forest. Yeah. I love the, yeah, yeah, set off, yeah. I love the story of, um, uh, you know Captain Cook's cottage in uh, yes. Fitzroy Gardens? Yes. So it's Captain Cook's original cottage where he lived for a time in England, and yep. they transported it out here, and they set it up as a historical thing. You can go and have a look at it. Yep. Mick Malloy, friend of the podcast, yes. he lives near there, yep. but he got drunk one night and he was walking through, and he, <laughs> like God, he lost. <laughs> he broke into the... And he fell asleep in the bed. He did. He did. I just, I, he told this story on radio. I just love the fact it's sort of like Goldilocks, the guy comes in the next day. <laughs> There's a guy sleeping in the bed. Uh, imagine Mick running out. Imagine, imagine finding him. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to believe this. Uh, one, someone's in there. And two, it's Mick Malloy. And three, he, he's not he's, wearing any pants. He's broken the chair. He's broken the chair. He's drunk all of Captain Cook's beer. <laughs> uh, good on you, Mick. 